Hey, this is Prack with IRPMD, and what I have in front of me is a balance scooter or the mag board that I built from scratch. In this episode, I will show you how to build it, how to order it online, and from start to finish to the final testing of how to build your very own mag board and custom build it the way you like it. What I'm gonna show you guys is actually how to build your own balance board from scratch these parts here as you can see I got from a website and I will show you the website later I custom order every single one of these and today I show you how to build it from scratch okay hey this is Prak IRPMD and what we uh, need for this bill is pretty much a 5.5 hex wrench and a standard Phillips screwdriver. And I'm going to show you guys how to build the um, balance board or uh, hoverboard IO Hawk from scratch. You can do this and order the parts from the website below. And let me show you the shell that I have. So what I have is uh, I order a white shell, then I I mask the lens out, okay, and I coat it with the uh, Rust-Oleum Flexi Dip removable rubber coating. This will serve two purposes. This is flexible, and um, and it has a nice grip and a nice texture to it and should you need to change it you can easily peel it off and recode it yourself this is the best reason why to build your own board is because you can customize the color so once you get the shell you pretty much can go to a home depot or lowe's and buy one of these for stolium just make sure you search for a um, make sure whatever you buy is gonna adhere to plastic great for metal plastic and glass so whatever you do make your do your research and make sure it's uh, plastic ready and so what I did was I masked this out and I sprayed three or four layers at a time uh, one whole can went into this board and I uh, sprayed it yesterday so now I'm gonna remove the masking tape and you can see go ahead and expose the indicator light so still, still a little tacky on the edge but no big deal so let's go ahead and start the build all right so what you need to do first would be the logic board we'll go ahead and mount the logic board on all right let's go ahead and place it in and the logic board has a heat sink the bottom the heat sink here heat sink plate has four screw hole one two three and four and what you need are these for these treaded screws okay and these treaded screws are designed to actually hold the board down let's go ahead and place it in with your Phillips screwdriver go ahead and just tight but just go ahead and uh, screw it in but not not tight enough yet until you get all the screws in Now there's two back here. All right. It's very important that you get all screws, all four screws in. Okay, now go ahead and put some elbow grease into it. Tighten it up. So what you want to do now is go ahead and run this cabling through. This is the power, the battery connector. Run it through this loop right here. Through this frame. All right. Now let's go ahead and run these. This is the uh, speed control. Run 
that all the way through. All right. Now let's go ahead and run this all the way through. Okay. That's the LED. All right, these, this is the power for the motor. Run it all the way through this little loop right here inside. Gets kind of tight. There you go, you get all four of this through. It's going to organize this a little bit. All right. Right here, so we have this organized, like so. Okay, so now that we got the logic board in, what we're gonna do now is go ahead and put these uh, rubber rubber balance sensor sensor pads onto here. Okay, the sensor pad. All right, what you want is this two. Tap this is the circular tap, and that's and this is the uh, the actual sensor itself. And what you want is to be facing this way, okay? You want this to be vertical. Let's go ahead and place it onto here. This has a rubber seal already, so once you tighten it, it will be weather resistant. So it's good to put it in. Rubber sensor pad. Okay. All right, let's put the other sensor pad, make sure it's Lay down vertical, orientation is correct. All right. With these things, you want to tighten just right. You don't want to over tighten or under tighten. That will determine whether your sensor pad works properly or not. And the sensor pad is the one that determines the speed, whether you're going forward and backward. It is the one that's reading. Just a slight variation of this going up and down will determine the power, the amount of power going through the uh, motor. All right, let's just tighten just right. You don't want to over tighten it. Just once it feels like you're getting a good resistance, you can't go any further. You go ahead and stop tightening it. Over tightening can cause the sensor pad ring to break. And then you have to buy a new one. Again, all these parts we do have for sale. Okay, let's go ahead and work on this side. Alright, line it up. I'm going to line this one up also. Put the screws in. Nothing feels like actually building your own ride. So this is an opportunity. You want to do something great for someone for Christmas and you want to take credit for building it from scratch. This would be a, the ultimate Christmas birthday, birthday present. I'm building this one for my daughter. I'm making sure that all the best material and electronic goes into it because ultimately should be going cruising on the road here and um, you don't want anything to go wrong
these simple tools, you should be able to build your own. If you order from China, you're going to see those three or four hundred dollar boards. They're not made the same. Trust me on that. My shop has a lot of these coming to us and um, most of the issue would be the logic board not working properly. And um, the repair bill goes from 150 all the way to $400 depending on what's needed. But you get what you pay for. So be aware. Okay, now that you have all this set up, okay, what we need to do now is go ahead and uh, mount the battery on. Okay, so the battery, this is a lithium polymer battery. It has a um, output of 42 watts and it's a uh, direct current and you can see right here it's a pretty high end battery here and battery cage. Let's go ahead and put the battery into the battery cage. Set it up just right. And let's get the screws for the battery cage and it's a similar screw. It's the shredded screws right here and I'll go ahead and tuck it in. Some people actually have the wire underneath the battery cage but I really don't want to run it that way. The battery gets pretty hot and you don't want it to fuse. So I like to keep it away from the battery cage. One above, not under the battery cage. I'll show you how to do that. All right, I'm tucking it in just slightly. For now. All right. All right. Tip over a little bit. Go ahead and just place it in here. build this you sh should take about maybe an hour hour 30 minutes depending on how fast you work um, I can do this for in in about under 40 minutes but I'm gonna work a little slow for you guys so you can keep up I build quite a few of these when we get these in our shop we get them in parts and we build it to the customers specification we're gonna go ahead and put the LED onto these shelves this is the front and left side of the sh top shell. This right here is the the uh, balance indicator and this is the battery level indicator. Okay and I'm gonna flip this over now. We got the round LED and the well the the star LED and the round LED or the cross LED. Okay we're gonna go ahead and Use the cross LED push first. We're going to place the cross LED with the battery indicator. Okay, having this face downward. Two screw provided. Let's go ahead and first thing we do is hand fasten first. And then we'll go ahead and apply it with the screwdriver. Alright, fasten it just right. Okay. Now we got the circular LED. Okay, and that will be used for the Balance indicator, okay, facing down, facing up, go ahead and fasten it, okay,
All right, with all these are right, attached, I'm gonna bring the balance board back in. Okay, this is the metal frame with all the components. We're gonna flip it over. Remember the battery side right here? Okay, rule of thumb is the battery indicator goes on the battery side. All right, first thing we're gonna do though is go ahead and put pads on these. These are the sensor pad, and when you press on them, see here, it actually, you'll get the reaction. It goes to the sensor and it tells you whether you are going fast or slow or backward or forward. Let's go put these uh, rubber grip pad on. Foot grip pad, make sure it's nice and tugged. Battery side with the battery. Okay, put this loop in here. Put this into the slot allied. Okay, and now go ahead and fasten it carefully. Okay, do the same for this side. Tuck it in carefully, bring it right through. Okay. Run it over here. Okay. Let's turn it over. Okay, you want these to be sticking out of the frame, coming through. All right, let's go ahead and secure the frame to the top shell. Okay, nice and secure. We're gonna use eight these screws per side. Okay, so place it here. And place it on this side. Okay. Make sure it's nice and snug. Okay. Do the same for this side. All right, so what I'm gonna do is show you where the rest of the screw goes. Um, other than boring you with me putting every screw in, I'm gonna fast forward to the finish part when I secure the top shell to the body. But I'll tell you where to place the screw in. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight screws and eight on the other side also. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip to that point where I put the shell on. All right, so this is the final screw being placed on. All the screws are done. It's really crucial that you have this all flush with the frame with the two tabs sticking out about one eighth of an inch. You can see you have let me tighten this up a little bit more. Okay, so you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then eight on the other side, making it 16. What we're going to do now is go ahead and put the uh, wheels, the motor on. All right, these motors are high power motor. It's uh, 36 volts. And the motor is actually within the wheel, the disc itself very high end if you're familiar with the drone at all the the outside plate of the cylinder is the is the motor and as you can see all the circuitry all the wiring comes comes out of here and you have the 
round side and the flat side. Okay, what we want is the flat side facing us. We're going to rest it in here. Okay, and we'll do the same to the other side. Okay. Place it in carefully, flat side facing us. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and place the screw onto place. And what we have here are the hex screws, hex bolt. The um, this is nylon uh, cushioning plate, and this is the pre-fitted metal plate that goes on top of the nylon serve as a washer also so what we want to do is match up here and we're gonna for now we're gonna hand screw it in okay to get to the point where we can tighten it later okay and the reason why we're not tightening all the way is you see these wheels right here if you push it too much Either way, it's going to be rubbing against the frame. So what we want is it just right. And we need to manually adjust this. So let's go ahead and just place this in first. Not to a point where it actually locks in. I'm just getting it so I can still adjust the spacing between the tires and the frame, or the motor and the frame. As you can see, nothing is rubbing. So go ahead and tighten this. You want to do it diagonally from each other. Move this one. Okay. That's a little bit long more. Okay, now let's spin this again. Nothing's rubbing again, so we're good. Just gonna add some more tension to it. Okay. Again, we don't want it to move back and forth, so we tighten enough so it doesn't slide back and forth. Okay. Perfect. I'm gonna go ahead. Don't want to use a torque one. It might break the nylon block that's securing it. What we're trying to do is tighten it enough, hard enough that we um, it doesn't slide. It doesn't slide back and forth. Okay. As you can see right here, it's not sliding back and forth. It's just right. And we're going to do the same for the other side. All right, we can go ahead and tighten this side also. Go ahead and bring the nylon strip in place. And again, if you guys are interested in building this from scratch, it would make a great Christmas present or birthday present because knowing that it is actually from you. Buy the part, customize it the way you want, paint it the color you want. Then your son or daughter or loved one will really appreciate the gift because it's a it's came from you and you actually built it. The uh, link is below. Go with a hand. Sense it. That's what it sounds like when it's rubbing against the frames. So we want to adjust it. Okay. Let's go ahead and tension this.
Perfect. I'm tightening just enough so I can go in and manually tighten it later. All right, let's take a look. Spins perfect. Let's go ahead and tighten it. Diagonal each other. It's crucial to have this nice and well tightened, but you don't want to over tighten that you actually break the block underneath. slides see it's rubbing in so you're gonna adjust it about right here so it doesn't slide anymore and then we're tightening it All right, so now that this is well tightened, let's go ahead and wire things up, okay? The way we're gonna wire this, well, we're gonna put the power on, green to green, yellow to yellow, and blue to blue. So these are the power plugs. As you can see here, we're gonna put green to green. We're gonna go ahead and put blue, well, yellow to yellow. Okay, have it overlap, blue to blue, we're going to put the speed control cable, alright we're going to tuck this in later, let's go ahead and put the sensor plate, the sensor plate I already put screws ahead of time, on corners, these are the wrench screws, or the treaded screws, okay fasten it in here, Let's go ahead and tighten it. You don't want to over tighten that you break it. Just tighten just enough. Okay, secure bond. So now let's go ahead and wire this up. Run the wire from the shell, okay, to this here. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna Velcro seal these. All right, do the other side. Okay. Again, I'm gonna use the power cable, green to green. Green power to green power. Okay, the last thing I want to do is actually plug in the battery. You don't want to do it at this point. You will get shock. Yellow to yellow. Blue to blue. And then the power speed controller. Okay, let's go ahead and put the sensor, balance sensor on here. Okay. Place it in. Okay. Okay. 
All right. Okay, let's go ahead and connect the the indicator light into place. All right, and then go ahead and put the as a speed controller, and this is the indicator light. All right, so I have all that in place. Now let's go ahead and work on the. Now that we got this already done, let's put this aside and work on the wiring of the bottom half of the shell. Okay. So the bottom of the shell are these right here. All right. And you should see, as you can see these shells here. Um, we got the power switch and the uh, charging port. Let's go ahead and work on that first. Okay, we got the power switch here. And charging port. All right, so the charging port we have here is the charging port. We can go ahead and loosen this up. Okay. We're gonna have to run it through here. So let me go ahead and get this through like so. All right, so now we'll go ahead and run this power switch in through here. All right, so the cable running through the second hole, as you can see here. All right, and so we want it to recess. Want it to face downward. This little notch here, face downward. Recess in. Now we can go ahead and fasten this in. Put this back into the ring. This might take a little time, but be really careful not to mix any cable while you do this. Okay, so now let's go ahead and tighten. Seal right here. Okay. All right. Okay, so again with this tap facing downward, we're tightening this. Once you can't tighten anymore, go ahead and get a wrench. Tighten just right. And then I use my SGX digitizer glue. This is a silicone adhesive. Works really well to weather resist and also to secure your um, shell so I'm putting enough in here to lock it in place and I'm also going to seal it off whether it's just a seal let it it's going to run all around close it out all right so now I'm gonna go ahead and put the power button on this is the power switch button all right and again go ahead and loosen the The nut from it. Place it into here. Carefully tuck it in. Make sure it's nice and flush. Through this. I'm about to wiggle a little bit. Okay. Walk it around. Pushing it all the way inward. Okay. All right, just 
push it a little further right here. All right, now that we have that in, we're gonna go ahead and tighten it. wrench right here bring it in more and more okay make sure it's nice and recess in It's nice and tighten and nice and flush in. Go ahead and use SGX. And this just SGX takes about an hour to cure. But now that it's holding in place here, we'll go ahead and concentrate on the now we're gonna do the lens. These are the LED lens that goes onto here. This is the LED shell that goes onto it on this side. Left is left, right is right. Okay. So this is the left LED shell. See, setting it right here. I'm gonna push it on through. Okay. Like the way you see it here. Okay, we're gonna lock it in. Like that, okay? Tuck it down. Now we'll go ahead and tighten the screws for this. We also need to weather seal this. We don't want any water to go through the LED. Okay, so go ahead and tighten the screws. And you pretty much do the same on the other side. I want to show you how to do it on this side. Then we're going to skip to the other side being done. All right. So it's nice and secure. Okay. What we need to do now is go ahead and weatherproof the inside using my SGX digitizer seal. And apply adhesive all around. This is to prevent the water moisture humidity from the outside entering here and messing with the circuitry. Okay, so that's nice and sealed. We're gonna apply the same thing to this side. Okay, now the other side, the screw is in place. We're gonna go ahead and put the SGX digitizer seal to weatherproof it. All right. I'm gonna have this sit for about two hours and then we'll be back to put it onto the board. Okay, so now with the, with the silicone uh, have fully cured. The SGX is fully cured. What we're going to do is go ahead and put the bottom shell onto the logic board. Alright, so this is the this right here is the power charger or the charger port. Let's go ahead and place it to the logic board here. Okay. Put the charging port in. And this is the power switch, and that goes right in this slot right here. All right, that's in. 
Okay, and this is the LED indicator. I'm going to place it into here. All right. Now that we have that secure, what we want to do is go ahead and use the SGX also to go ahead and fortify, seal it off, preventing it from popping out when we ride it. That way it'll keep it nice and secure. Put the SGX as a silicone bond. Okay. And on the other side, on this side, we do the same. Okay, all it needs is just a LED. We're going to indicate the LED light indicator. Go ahead and put SGX to seal it. All right, so now what we're going to do is tuck away these wires. I'm going to run Velcro. This is a Velcro wire fastener, a cable fastener. Run underneath the run underneath the um, battery bracket. Okay. Lay this flat like so. Right here. Now with the Velcro fastener, we can go ahead and tighten it. Okay, get just about right. Then we're gonna overlay it. I'm gonna have a tightening strip right here. We're gonna overlay this Velcro. All right, now we're gonna bring this inward here. I'm gonna lay it around. Let's go ahead and plug the power port in. Power cable, battery's plugged in. Let's tuck this away safely down here. Okay, so we can go ahead and wrap the cord around a few times. Okay, nice and tucked away. Now that everything is nice and fastened, we're going to put the shell on to here. Alright, make sure the, the shell is nice and flush. Okay, shell looks good here. And looks great on the other side too. We'll go ahead and on this side, we're going to clean up the wiring also. Okay, so what we're going to do put this bundle together. This wire is here. Go ahead and wrap it in a group. Okay, cross them out like so. And these cords here also, tuck them down here and we're gonna fasten them in the bundle. Okay, you can get these Velcro strip from pretty much any hardware store. I got this one from Lowe's. Uh, these are the wire fastener. All right, so now with all that tucked away, I'm gonna put this shell back on in this side. All right, so now we have two sections on here. All right, so there's two types of screws that goes on to here. The, there's the corkscrew style, like what I have here, and then there's the machine one. The corkscrew style goes onto the outer shell, the outer corner, as you can see right here. This one, this here, this here, and here. So let's go ahead and put the corkscrew style back on. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and fasten it up. Okay, 
and again work diagonally Alright, now we've put the machine one in, drop the machine screw into place. Like so. And go ahead and start fastening these machine ones into place. This machine, uh, the treaded screw, makes contact with the makes a contact with the um, with the metal frame. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and put the screw on the other side, dropping this corkscrew in to each corner. And then put the machine screw or the treaded screw to the middle part. Okay. First thing we do is tighten the corkscrew first, the side screw, working diagonal. All right now the treaded screw onto the frame to the the metal chassis or the frame All right this will secure it to the chassis three more screws left This is the last screw. Okay. So now let's go and power this on. Power button right here. All right. Let's test the balance sensor. Looking at the well, what we're looking for here is the is the LED blue light. All right, back. Yep, and the other side back. And front. All right, this is great. We're gonna go ahead and test this outside, okay? All right, so now we're outside. Power the board up. All right, got my green light. I'm gonna go ahead and mount this board. All right, and here we go. Perfect, rides great. I'm going to take it for a little spin. Anyways, this is Prack with iRepairMD. Safe riding and safe repair. So, a note to order the parts. This is where I get my part from. I go to Digital Life, D I T I Digital L I F E E X, right there, dot com and it'll be sent to this website go to magboards and then order the parts from here you go ahead and go to products from here you can buy all the parts you need to build this and pretty good people over there they can 